Don't worry, I'm not going to be up here very long. <laughs> Gotta get back outside to my job parking cars. <laughs> Dang, it ain't parked right. Just trying to bring some class to smile back in the show business. You guys like the South Bend? This is my nice South Bend, right? Yeah. You know what I like to do for fun? I like to put this outfit on, on a Friday or a Saturday night, go to downtown Denver, stand outside the door at free nightclubs and charge people to get in. <laughs> Calm down. Don't laugh, last weekend I made $900 come get 13 bags a week. Denver, Colorado, if you're having a good time tonight, or you're ready to have a good time, let me hear y'all say, yeah, yeah! Check it out! Oh, this kind of gangster for a half white, half Mexican, one black person crowd. <laughs> Ladies, I know you're looking at me, so let's go ahead and just get this out the way at the beginning of my show. <laughs> yes, this is my real hair. <laughs> and yes, the carpets match the curtains. <laughs> wow, that's been a fucking phenomenal five minutes. That's been my time. <laughs> I like to get a gauge of the crowd, get some energy in the room. So on everybody right now, get some energy going for your headliner, Chris Fonseca, and me, Michael Puch Puccino. Everybody give me a beat. Everybody give me a beat, get some blood flow. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a gangster the moose on, bitch. What? Don't hurt him, Pooch. Don't hurt him, Pooch. Don't hurt him, Pooch. Don't hurt him, Pooch. Find us something to start rapping. Survivor's over 10 years old. No. Stupid show! <laughs> and they lied to us when that show first started, didn't they? Yeah. Remember they're all the most original show ever on television. Uh -huh. Bullshit. I saw the show in the 80s. It was called Gilligan's Fucking Island. <laughs> I love, uh, love touring the country and um, being a positive person, right? Just talking about positivity and love and kindness. I think we need that these days, right? With all the hate going on and racism and shit. And I try to be positive all the time. And I was in Montana. I was doing this show in Montana. Show's over. Went to the men's room. And I'm standing at the, for you ladies, who you don't, ladies, if you don't know, you've never been in the men's room, there's like a trough. Pink trough for number one and a stall for number two, right? So there's, one, there's just me in there doing number one, and there's one other person, only one other person, he's in the stall doing number two, right? And all of a sudden, this drunk ass fool decided to talk to me. He's like, hey, buddy, buddy. I'm all. Yeah. He's like, you know what, dude? This bathroom freaking sucks, man. This is the worst bathroom I've ever been in. I'm a really wise ass, sir. He's like, well, first of all, this door was all broken. Somebody had peed all over this toilet. There's no freaking toilet paper. And being an optimist, positive person, I had to say to him, well, you know, sir, it could be a lot worse. He's like, yeah, right. No, I don't think so, buddy. So when I left, I turned out the lights. 